Victoria Howard is a royal commentator here, and she joined and she joins us now. Morning to you. Um, you just said something which, which I sort of thought that perhaps you know, being the third baby, that um, there wouldn't be wall to wall coverage in you know the television, the newspaper, America. Are you surprised by the intense interest? Not really. Uh, William and Catherine, they're a very very popular couple, so um, the, the, the interest in their family growing that doesn't surprise me at all. And normally, is it tr traditional to take a few days to come up with a, the name for the... Yeah, it was two days for Prince George and Prince Charlotte before we found our name. So. And I did look this morning. Arthur is currently top of the list. It it's is. a r rather regal name, isn't it? Did it, it not is. go for Arthur? Um, there's definitely a good chance. It's not been around in the, the royal family for a while, at least in the, the direct line of succession. One of Princess Margaret's grandsons is called Arthur. But before that, uh, we're talking one of Queen Victoria's sons. He was a Prince Arthur, and obviously that was way back in the 19th century. So, um, And it is an important moment because it's sort of a historic moment because before he was born, he would have leapfrogged Princess Charlotte in the line to the throne, wouldn't he? But not anymore. Absolutely. So in 2013, we had the succession to the Crown Act, and that meant that any um, younger brothers would not usurp um, a, 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 an older sister, as happened with, say, Princess Anne. Um, and that's it's really a, a big deal because... For centuries before that, that is what happened. Boys took precedent. So over the next few days, uh, obviously the naming will be part of that, be some sort of official ceremony, I would imagine. But what, what's officially now? Does the Queen visit at a certain time and um, you know the rest of the family sort of gather around? Is it, it, there's, there's always royal ways of doing things, aren't there? There, there like are, this? but this, this is quite informal because it's like any family. that you, know, there's, you want to give the mother and baby space, but also everyone's really keen to meet the new arrivals. So we can expect to see them in the, the next couple of days. We'll see the cars at Kensington Palace. Um, suspect the Middletons will be there today. And the, the Queen, she's actually holding Easter Court at Windsor Castle, so um, maybe in the next week or so she'll visit. Um, what seems clear, having watched it, uh, that now that this is, of course, their third baby, they've sort of got it down to the T, haven't they? This is what they do. They come, you know, they go, she goes to have the baby, and very soon after, <laughs> comes out, shows the world, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, she, she came out with her newborn just less than 12 hours after she gave birth. That's, um, I mean, women across the world are probably in awe. She looks amazing. She's wearing heels, and they just look very, very happy and content. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because you, I, I suppose the people who are watching this morning think, I can't believe you're doing all this coverage of the world, baby. There's, there's that part of the argument. There's also the seemingly, as you were talking about, an increasing appetite from, from another sort of portion of the pop population. And we were uh, covering the story from an American perspective earlier on in the day, where there's blanket coverage, and they're already building up to the royal wedding of, of Harry and, and Meghan Markle later on in the year. So yeah, it's, I, it's sort of two different, very different appetites for this thing. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, to most, it's the Americans, I think that link with having Meghan in the royal family, that's definitely driving some of it. They're, um, they're very keen that there's, there's another American getting into the royal family, like, like Wallace Simpson, but in a much more positive way. Um, and I'm just interested, to go, going back to the sort of appearance of, of, the, of the royal baby on the steps, because I suppose in some ways they've given what, uh, you know, the, what the photographers want, members of the public want, they've seen the new baby, and then I suppose that gives them some time to go and, you know, as most parents would, look after their new baby. Yeah, a couple of days to themselves to just settle into it and get used to having that, that third child around. Um, but... You could just see they, they were very, very happy in those photos, but also they didn't speak to the press. William gave a quick comment before he got into the car. Um, they, you know, it's a private moment, mm. but in a very public way for this family. I know it's hard to know the answer to this question, but what likely role for this child is going to be fifth in line to the mm. throne. Um, so unlikely to ever sit on the throne yes. himself, but what might, what might the role be in future sort of royal life, do you think? I think we can definitely compare it to someone like Princess Anne, maybe, or the Earl of Wessex. So we don't hear as much about them um, in, the, in the press because they just don't generate that sort of excitement. But they definitely, they work very hard. You just have to look at their schedule for the week and they're, they're out for three, four days doing multiple engagements a day. Um, so it will be a role as a working role, more than likely. Perhaps some of the boys might end up in the military for a short time, as William and Harry did. But um, they, they will be working. You just might be a more slimmed down royal family. Victoria Howard, thank you very much indeed. Thank I expect you. you've got a busy few weeks ahead with the Royal Wedding, etc. Thank you very much. And if you, you want a bit more uh, Royal News, uh, every single paper, or well, most of the papers got to pull out today. The Daily Mail, I think, wins. Does it nine, win? 19 Does pages, it? from page 1 to 19. And if that's not enough, there's also a 16-page souvenir pull-out as well. Just 35 case. pages, just for you. <laughs> I'd love to look back and see how many there were for, for Prince George as well, whether it's um, I'm sure so. Have you... Possibly more. Right, okay. <laughs> Possibly. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. It's uh, 16 minutes past.